What's going on guys? It's Jordan back today with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at OMG Network just because I got a couple requests in the comments section to talk about this specific altcoin. That sounds good to you guys. Make sure you guys remember to smack that like button down below. Let's get back up to 100 likes. We're gonna hit 100 likes on yesterday's video, so let's see if we can do it again. That would be absolutely great, guys. Now let's jump right on in to the video. As we jump right on in, to the longer time frame chart for OMG. I got a crazy amount of you know suggestions to talk about OMG on yesterday's video and previous videos, so I just had to talk about it for you guys today. Um, but as you guys can see, um, we did get rejected um, on, on the daily chart of this huge resistance that was used to be our old support, right? We got support on this thing all the way back here once, twice, three times, four times before eventually breaking down um, through this red box right now. It's acting as huge support. Look at this crazy wick That we actually got on the top of this OMG chart, right? And now we're just coming back down to retest our old Resistance as new support, right? So we're doing the exact opposite which we just did, right? We just tested our old support as new resistance and now we're coming back down to try to keep this a bullish structure We need to hold our old resistance as new support, right? We need to hold this past local top here as support and if this breaks down i want to see at least right at the bare minimum us hold this local top here as support right so we do have this 200 day moving average which i like to see us keep um holding for these bull markets um for all old coins and bitcoin right so the 200 day moving average is right at the top of the screen box right now so if we did get a quick i mean and i mean quick wick down wick this also touch the top of this and then get a nice v bottom up that would be extremely bullish in my opinion but i want to see us i do really want to see us keep this first green box here um which was um you know old old support here old resistance old resistance so this does have a lot of confluence here but we are starting to break it um i know we need to see bitcoin get a healthy move up to try to pull some of these all coins up because um, if, if Bitcoin continues, it's like medium term downtrend that it's in, it's going to pull these altcoins down with it. And I see this being kind of, if we do keep going down, that is, this is kind of the local bottom I see for OMG. It's totally normal and totally healthy for these altcoins to actually come back down and retest old resistance as new support. And that's what I see it doing now, um, whether it's either this local top it's, as old resistance or this local top is old resistance. We don't know which one it's gonna bounce off of, but in my opinion, it's gonna bounce off at least one of those local highs. Um, I don't see us breaking um, lower than that. Um, that would be very bearish. We've already retested this local top as, as uh, support here, where we came back and came back down to retest it here. So this kind of rules that one out. But um, like I said, these two green boxes are very key for me and I don't wanna see us break either of those green boxes um, because there's really not that much price action um, below these. And I have to be extremely, extremely bearish in my opinion if we do break the, both these green boxes. But I don't see this happening. I see it getting a nice V bottom, whether it's when we touch you know, the bottom of this green box or when we touch the top of this green box, right? Somewhere in between here, we're gonna get a nice bounce. So we're gonna go over to our next chart, guys. And that is just this is just on the, the super short-term time frame. This is on the four hour. Um, to me, we're just kind of in this bull flag. And like I said, whether this bull flag continues down, um, uh, whether this bull flag continues down here, uh, let me delete this, guys, uh, continues down, um, to the top of this consolidation or if we get a nice bounce from where we are right now like we saw in the last chart this is what i kind of see playing out i see us maybe coming back down kind of doing what we're doing now just squiggling in between these two but this thing has to break because the top of this resistance um meets the bottom of this bull of this bull flag in my opinion at about october 2nd right october 2nd this thing's got to break by so this is what i kind of see happening right I see us coming back down, you know, to the to beginning of October. So the next two weeks, pump getting a nice, decent sized pump off of it, and then coming back down, retesting it again, maybe consolidating above it, and then getting a nice bounce off of it. Or we could see, you know, once we hit this, we get confluence, right? We're gonna break out of this bull flag, and we just touched old resistance. So maybe we get a huge V bottom, which brings us up something like crazy like this, right? 
those are the two scenarios that I see. Um, or we could just break out sooner. We're kind of hugging this resistance right now. We're hugging it, hugging it. Maybe we just get a you know nice bounce sooner, right? There's so many options which can be. Just make sure you guys watch this bull flag for OMG because um, we've gotten multiple touches on the bottom. We got about four touches on the bottom, and also you know dozens touches on the top because we're consolidating above it right here. So just watch out for these three options. Um, look for like a you know a you know two to three percent above this bull flag um, when you guys are you know putting in. If you guys are traders, I don't recommend trading. I recommend investing right i'm an investor not a trader so if you're looking for trading advice this is not the channel for you i uh like to point out coins that i'm personally invested in and see if you guys want to invest them as well right so um look out for these three scenarios for omg this is just on a super short term time frame so even if we get a do break up above here we could get rejected again above here and then come back down right so just be careful what you guys are doing with omg make sure you're putting your stop losses in and putting your buys at the right price. So we're gonna jump into our next chart for OMG here. And that is just kind of looking at the current drop we're in, right? right? So from the, I don't like to look at the wicks because wicks are kind of scammy, right? We've seen it in Bitcoin all the time where it wicks up like 10%, wicks down 10% same day, right? So I don't like to look at wicks. From our last daily close to um, our current bottom now, we're at about a 54% correction for OMG, which is quite worrisome because my like general pullback ranges that I like to see for bull markets is between like that 25% and 50% range. I don't like to see more than 50%. Um, we don't typically see that in true bull markets. So this is quite worrisome, but we're not too far above it. So I'm not quite worried yet. And also we haven't come back and touched this old support as new as this old resistance as new support yet, which I like to see it in bull markets for a healthy bull market. So I'm going to look past this one right here, but I just want to look at you know the last bull market for OMG back in 2017 and see kind of the drops that we had back here, right? See if we can kind of catch a conclusion on what's going on now. So let me pull up our measurement tool here. Um, so from this top to this low, this was about a 30% correction, right? So nothing near where we are now. Um, from this top to this bottom, Looking at about another 30% correction. So not still not anywhere we needed to be. Here to the bottom, about a 26% correction. So 30% corrections look like they were normal back then. So we're definitely above that. Um, let's see if we can find anything that would match where we are now. So maybe from here to the bottom, looking at about a 40% correction. So 40% seems like to be the max as far as candle bodies go. Um, 23%, yeah. So. We're definitely in the higher range of what I want to see for a correction for OMG. Don't get me wrong, guys. Um, I, I don't think it's time to panic yet until we break that old resistance, right? Um, that that's that's when I start to question whether a coin is viable in this bull market. Is whether it breaks that old resistance, it breaks that old resistance and doesn't confirm it as support. It just breaks right through it, right? That's when I get very worried um, about a particular coin. Um, during you know this year and next year, right? I think you guys know. I think 2020 and 2021 are going to be huge years for these altcoins. Um, kind of looking like something that we saw back here, right? This is what exactly what I'm projecting to you know to happen um, in 2021 in particular, right? I think 2020 could be a little bit more of a sideways and accumulation action because we have seen um, you know some crazy gains so far this year, like from the bottom to the top of this one. You know, we already saw a 2,000% gain, right? So maybe a little bit of consolidation and a correction is definitely needed because some of these altcoins just went up very, very parabolic. Like OMG, you're not going to see Bitcoin or Ethereum go down 50 or 60% in my opinion, but the coins that absolutely blasted off, just like OMG did, definitely do for a bigger correction. So this is totally healthy and I want to see us at least at the bare minimum keep this resistance here if we break this about two dollars about anywhere in the two dollar range um you know even like 190 if we break that 190 level that's when i start getting pretty bearish but until then i'm still extremely bullish on omg so i also wanted to take a quick look at the uh, altcoin market cap real quick guys 
and show you that, you know, this is another example for RMG that we, we test these old resistances as new support and this is extremely bullish, right? So you guys can see here, this was our old support, this, this purple line here back in the, uh, you know, back in the 2018 days um, where we're in the bear market. This is acting as support, you know, once, twice, three times before breaking it. And then ours our resistance once, twice, and then we broke it again. And now look, we're getting a nice bounce off of it and we're holding it as support. So I wanna see us continue holding this as support um, going into the next year um, because uh, if we do break this again, that's extremely bearish. As I've been saying in this video, you don't wanna break old resistances and confirm them as new resistance, right? You wanna keep that as old resistance and new support. You don't wanna make them as new resistance. That's when, you know, if we break it, you know, if we consolidate above this, we end up breaking it, you're gonna come back up and now you have to break it again. And you might get a rejection even lower, right? So that's not what you wanna see. You wanna see something like holding it as support here and then, you know, continuing up. I don't think it's gonna go this long. That was just a kind of an illustration of what I wanna see here because uh, breaking old, old, you know, old support and resistance is just not something you want to see in the bull market. So I also want to look at the same thing for Bitcoin, give you guys another quick example of what I'm talking about. As you guys can see, we had this purple line here, which we got one touches, two touches, three touches, four touches on. And now look, we're getting a nice bounce off of it and confirming it as support, right? I want to see us getting a little bit better and break this old high here. But in the short term, we did get a perfect and nice bounce right off that purple line, which is I wanna see. Also extremely bullish if we do break this purple line, which at the time of recording, would it be about that 9,000, no, about that 9,900 level. Um, that, that, that's, that's pretty bearish in my opinion. I don't wanna see us break that in the short term. So that's just a few more examples of what I'm talking about in all my videos, right? Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me guys know what you guys think about OMG in the comment section below. Do you guys see us going a little bit lower like I do maybe? Or do you guys see us getting a nice bounce from where we are now? Love to know what you guys think. Um, also, uh, leave that like button down below. Turn it blue. It's great right now. Turn it blue. Actually, it might be white. I don't even know, but turn it blue for me, guys. Let's hit that 100 likes on the video. It helps me out so much, helps out my channel, and I, I just love making videos for you guys and want, want to continue to do so. So hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video, like always, in the comment section below. Let me know what altcoins you guys want me to talk about. I promise I will make the most mentioned altcoin like I did yesterday in tomorrow's video. So have a good rest of your day, guys. Peace.